Hey hippies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys all of my makeup favorites that I've been loving in the month of April. I kind of did a lot of shopping for makeup. I don't know, I feel like I've just kind of been using the same thing, so I wanted to branch out and try other products. I've actually been loving so many products, so that's why I wanted to make a whole video about it. So if you're interested in seeing what my favorites were for the month of April, then just keep watching. The first makeup favorite I have been obsessing with in the month of April is the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I cannot put this thing down. Like, I have been loving this. There's matte and shimmer shades. You could do like a warm eye with it or a cooler tone like mauve eye. I don't know. I just, it has all the colors that you need to do anything. Like orange soda and burnt orange are like the perfect transition shade. I use both of those every time I use this palette, even if I'm using more of the pinky tones. I don't know. I just love it. It's so pretty. If you're looking for a good eyeshadow palette, I really recommend this. It's amazing. In April, Morphe came out with some new products, some new blush palettes and highlighters so of course I had to pick up something from them. I mean Morphe is so affordable so I often splurge when I go there. I've been loving their new blush palettes and I actually picked up two of them. The two that I picked up is Pop of Peach and Pop of Rose and these colors are so pretty. Some of the blushes have shimmer in them and some of them are matte so they are perfect or whatever you're feeling I cannot put these down and they are only $12 a piece for three blushes that's just unheard of <laughs> amazing they're perfect if you're in the market for a new blush and you don't just want to buy one you get three for $12 can't be that sticking with Morphe I picked up this high impact highlighter illuminator in the color spark and I cannot put this highlighter down I'm wearing it right now and I kind of did like a subtle highlight because I am going to a baby shower in like a couple hours. So I don't want to like be blinding everyone. <laughs> you can make it subtle or you can really like pack it on and just blind people with this. It's so pretty. It's powdery, but it kind of just leaves like a creamy finish. Like, I don't know. I love this highlighter. And it was only $7 for this thing. Like, are you kidding? $7. You need to check it out. You need it in your life. The last product from Morphe that I have been just not putting down. I almost wore it for this video, but I didn't. I wanted more of like a pop of color. This is the Morphe Liquid Lip in the color Virgin. It's one of Laura Lee's. She's a makeup artist on YouTube. It's in collaboration with Morphe. And it is such the perfect nude pink color. It's just so pretty. And I love Morphe liquid lips because they go on really velvety. So you can really perfect it without it drying so fast. Some liquid lipsticks dry down super fast. So it's kind of hard to like work with if you want to put more on. This is just amazing. Like the color is so beautiful. It really is just like the perfect nude shade. I love it. At the beginning of April, I got eyelash extensions. And I mean, I liked them, but I just, I'm more of a strip lash girl. Once I took the extensions off, I pretty much was left with like no eyelashes. I was kind of devastated. I was like, oh my God, I have no eyelashes anymore. So I did some research because I wanted to get an eyelash serum but I didn't want to get like the prescription Latiste. So through all my research, I found without a prescription, Grande Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum would work wonders on my eyelashes. So I was told, the girl in Sephora was like, after a week, like I could totally see the difference. I was like, okay, I'm sold, give it to me. So it's been like two weeks now and my eyelashes are growing. I was like, OMG. I'm even putting it in my eyebrows so they get a little bit bushier because I love that like bushy brow look. And I, I mean, I have false eyelashes on right now so you really can't tell. It has been totally working. Like my eyelashes are regrowing and they almost look a little bit thicker than before I did the eyelash extension. So it's gotta be this product. It was a little bit on the pricier side. It was $65, but 
I feel like it's working so it's worth it to me and since my eyelashes needed a little bit of help and I don't wear false eyelashes on a day-to-day -day basis I have been loving this combination from Pixi. It is a black lacquer lash primer combined with their large lash mascara. This has been my secret weapon combo for making these little baby lashes look super good. Something about this lash primer is like magic in a bottle for some reason. It makes my lashes so long. I feel like the lash primer really lengthens my lashes and then the mascara it really like plumps up the volume. This pair together has just been magic for my eyelashes. These are super affordable too. Pixie is amazing. You can find them at Target. I just have been loving this brand lately. So yeah, loving these. And lastly, I've only had this product for a week. But hands down, it's like my new favorite go-to product. I haven't put this down since I got it. It is the Kat Von D 24-Hour Super Brow Pomade. This has been the only thing I've been using for my eyebrows, and I feel like my eyebrows haven't ever looked this good. I'm not really like a brow girl. As much as I love makeup, I never really got into like the really like structured perfect eyebrows I just I don't know I feel like I just can't do it or when I do do it I look like a clown but this has just been like so amazing I love brow pomades and I usually use the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade and I was kind of expecting this to be like the same product but it's totally different like it's so the consistency is really like moussey and if that's even a word I don't know and this is the number 70 pomade brush that you're, it's supposed to like go hand in hand with. And I feel like this brush and the pomade together are like an eyebrow match made in heaven. It's so amazing. This brush is so sturdy and just amazing for really like carving out your eyebrows. I feel like my eyebrows have never looked this good and it's all because of these two things right here. So yeah, you need to check this out. Brows on fleek. Those are all the makeup products I have been loving for the month of April. I've just been obsessed with these products and it just gets me more excited to get like more into makeup. I feel like I've kind of been like lagging on my makeup game. I don't know why. Like I love makeup and just trying new things. And also I would love to know what some of your favorite makeup products were in the month of April or just in general what some of your favorite products have been. I would love to know so I could go check them out. And that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out hippies.